Okay, so I am in, um, this has been such a long time since I've done one of these videos, so I'm basically playing a game, and, uh, somebody has uh, put their miner on top of my miner, so I'm sending my destroyer in, and we're gonna throw down if he decides to try to kick me off of the mining node. Um, that being said, we're gonna be doing, um, a little bit of riffing here today. And because it has been some time since I've done this. So, um, but first I want to see what is going down here. Um, okay. So FUD069 is sitting on top of me. He was, and oh, what, what's going on here? Now another person is, what the fuck? It's like, th okay. Now there's like three people sitting on top of this note. Okay, okay, Mr. Punkle uh, discovered that something's going on here. He moved off. Um, what is going on here? But uh, but my jellyfish is going to make quick work of FUD if he just tries. If, if FUD tries to throw down, I'm going to be, I'm going to, I'm going to make quick work of him. So we'll see what, what we'll see what goes on here. So, so yeah, it's been several months since I've um, posted a video. And, and by the way, just so you know what I'm working with here. I'm using a, um, an app that records off of the, um, off of the microphone input off of my uh, device. So it is not capturing the in-game sounds except what comes out through the speakers. So if you wanted to hear the game, I would have to put the game on like full blast. Like, okay, it looks like he, hey, he warped out. Yay, me. Okay. So I, I may have scared him off. We'll see. Okay. Let's go ahead and recall my jellyfish. Okay. Okay. Um, now we're going to get to the main event and... Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to send out my, um, what the hell am I talking about anyway? Yes. I'm going to send my ancient Federation class USS, what the hell is it? What's so funny is that the, my my captain of this ship is like a, a guy who was a member of Khan's crew. So this is so funny. Okay, so I'm sending my USS Franklin out to, to attack the swarm. And it's going to take me a couple minutes to get there. So while we're... Um, hello. Go. Warp. Warpoo. Warpoo. Okay, so... Here we go. So I've been in the last couple months. I've been watching these really funny videos about. Um, some of them are like you know people like there are some guys out there on YouTube that read these Reddit posts, and I I do not subscribe to Reddit. I don't have an account there. I don't know about all the channels and stuff. You know. From time to time, I'll do a Google search on, hey, I'm stuck in this particular game, and I find a Reddit post. I'm like, okay, great. But otherwise, I've, I've really not touched Reddit. But there are apparently some Reddit channels out there that are absolutely hysterical, and they're talking about um, revenge, they're talking about um, guys that uh, caught their wives or girlfriends cheating and what they did in response to that. And, and there's all kinds of things that are, that are going on out there. And I had no idea that this stuff was being talked about. And so there are these uh, YouTube channels where there are some YouTubers that are just dedicated to reading back these these stories and I you know it's like one of these things where you like you pop a cold one you put the channel on and you just you just laugh 
or you feel sorry for the person. Um, and then there are the, um, lately I've discovered, um, and I don't know if I can say this word because I've, I've just, one of the things I've learned is that, um, you know, YouTube will watch or listen to channels. And if you say certain words, you'll actually get shadow banned. So I got, I have to be careful about what words I use, but, um, there is another group of, of, um, how long? I have to wake up my tablet here. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I know this is, this is kind of boring to watch. It's like, you know, my ship is kind of warping through the galaxy right now. And it's going to take about another uh, three minutes before I get to my destination. Boring. It's okay. So, uh, what was I saying? Um, yeah, so the the um, other group of channels I've been watching, which are really interesting, entertaining, but also educational, would be the... Um, how do I say it? I don't know if I can say the, the acronym or if I just spell it out loud. Um, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of paraphrase and say... Men doing their own thing. Men doing their own thing. Um, there's a, a different acronym or a different uh, channel for that. So I'm about to tell a story that combines those two things. Okay. So, um, and, and I don't do Reddit. So if, you, if you're a Reddit person, if you want to post this, Fine. Uh, just please don't use my real name. Um, there are uh, a fraction of you. Well, <laughs> there's only there's only two people that watch this channel. Okay, so maybe one of you know who I really am. That's okay. Just just don't dox me. Okay, be cool. Be cool about it. So so here's my story. This is about ten years ago. I was invited to um to go to a bar with a friend and uh this particular friend was not yet married and i was i was not yet fully red pilled and so i thought i had a chance with her um she was not yet married i thought that you know if i was nice that she would like me big mistake but so I've moved past, but, but back then, so I'm going to talk to you about how I was back then. Okay. So, all right. My Franklin is in the system. Time to attack some swarms. All right. We're going to get some points. Okay. So, so I go, so I agree to go to this bar with her and she brings on, she brings along one of her friends. Um, this is a person that I don't really know that well. She's not my friend, but she said, hey, we're going to bring on so-and-so. And she is a, this, this friend is a Karen. Not only is she a Karen, she's got the, the Karen hairstyle. She's got the Karen attitude and she's big and fat and she's loud. And the whole, the whole night, she is, um, this Karen is talking to my friend as if I'm not even there. I'm not even in the room. So again, I was there to try to, you know, trying to hit on my friend, trying to uh, get into her good graces. She's got a boyfriend. She hasn't married him. She hasn't committed to him. She's complained to me over and over again about his cheating I'm thinking, oh, I've got a chance. No, I don't. No, I don't. Again, d you know, d a decade later, I can see it back in clarity. But in the moment, I was thinking, you know, hormones, you know, like, I'm okay, I got it. You know, I got a chance. I got a chance. I can get her. I can get her. No, no, you don't. 
But in any case, so so we're in this place. So let's let's set the stage. This is a um, an area downtown, not a uh, an upscale. This is a blue collar place, and and don't get me wrong. There is nothing wrong with the blue collar um, dive or a bar or whatever you want to call it. You know, there, you know, people people get off work, they want to have a place to go drink and be with their friends. Totally cool with that. The only problem I had with this place is that when I stepped outside, I looked across the street, all the other neighboring businesses had bars on their windows. So I kind of knew that there was, you know, we were kind of a, a bad place in town. And this this will kick in later in the story. So anyway, so so we're we're in the bar, having a good time. Well, she and her friend are having a good time. I'm just kind of like a like a fifth wheel, whatever. You know. So I have a, a few beers. I have a few beers too many. I'm like, okay, I got to go to the bathroom. I'm like about an hour overdue. So I go to the bathroom, right? And I relieve myself. And apparently that was a problem. I kid you not. I know this is so weird, right? So I get out of the bathroom. I start walking back to the table where my friend and her fat Karen are. And as I'm walking to the table, somebody, I don't even know him. I don't know his name. I have no idea who this person is. He, he, he comes over to me. He puts his hand on my shoulder and kind of, you know, comforts me, pats me, says, Hey, it's okay that you're gay. What? What are you talking about? I make my, my way back to the table. It turns out, Fat Karen, while I was in the bathroom, told everybody in the fucking bar that I'm gay. And I'm not! And my friend, right, the lady I'm trying to hit on, did not defend me. She didn't say, oh, no, no, he is, he is totally heterosexual. He's been trying to hit on me the entire night. He's been trying to hit on me for months. No, he's been trying to hit on me for years. No, she didn't say any of that. She kept quiet and let that fat fucking Karen tell everybody in that bar that she she thinks I'm homosexual. No, she said I'm homosexual and I'm not. And I was so embarrassed. And, you know, I went over to my friend. I'm like, what happened here? She's like, oh yeah, you know, Fat Karen said that you're, uh, you're a homo. Are you kidding me? And I even said, okay, I'm going to prove it. Let's kiss. And she's like, oh, no, 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 no. We're not doing that. Like, fuck you. So this this was like a huge red flag. I didn't see it. I still associated with her later. But I got my revenge, kind of. Fat Karen had a heart attack. She died. She left her kid, her adult kid, with no life insurance. And her adult kid... Had to have a fundraiser, and I fucking contributed to it. That was how fucking blue-pilled I was back then. Uh, now, if this would happen ten years later, you know, fuck her. You know, you call me a homo, and you don't um, back it up? No. Well, no, we're not doing that. Okay, cat. I'm sorry, Mike. <laughs> one, one one thing that she does have in her favor, my cat is just getting up onto my shit. Okay, so so that's my story. So um, you know, oh, uh, okay. What's going on here? Uh, let's see here. Do we have any swarm ships to to kill? We need to kill some more swarm ships. So yeah, so that's my story, you know. Yeah. 
you know, I was so, I was so into her and I didn't see the signs that she was not only not into me, but, um, would let one of her friends just rake me over the coals and, um, uh, Tell complete strangers lies about me. And for what? Like, what did I do to her? Like this this Karen, this fat Karen, who had a heart attack and died, and fuck her. I'm sorry, but fuck her. Um, I never did anything to her. You know, I didn't know her outside of this uh, friend relationship. I think she was just trying to get in between me and her. And, uh, you know, whatever, that's done. Fast forward, you know, now the the woman I tried to hit on, okay, she's married, okay, done, I'm out, right? I'm not going to interfere with that. Um, and, and since then, I've, I've been red-pilled, and uh, I don't know, I, I'm still learning the, the terminology. I don't know if, it, if I'm red-pilled or black-pilled. I'm not quite sure what I am, but, um, some of this stuff actually happened even, you know, before, and I just didn't, I didn't know what was going on, I just kind of realized, you know, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna focus on my career, and I'm gonna be the best at what I can do, so, okay, uh, I've rambled enough, I hope this, uh, video was a little fun, I'm gonna, Stop it, and um, we'll see if there's another one. I have no idea.